August 1945. Two cities, two atomic bombs, a world forever changed. But amidst the devastation and the tales of sorrow emerges a story of resilience and survival that defies all odds. Meet Tsutomu Yamaguchi, the man who faced the unimaginable not once but twice and lived to tell the tale. This is his extraordinary journey through the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The 1940s, a world at war. Nations clashed, ideologies battled, and humanity witnessed destruction on an unprecedented scale. As the Allies strategized to bring an end to the conflict, a secret project was underway. Codenamed the Manhattan Project, scientists raced against time to create a weapon of unimaginable power. By 1945, with the war in Europe concluded, the focus shifted to the Pacific. The US, seeking a swift end to the war against Japan, made a fateful decision. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, two cities unaware of the impending doom. On August 6th, Hiroshima was enveloped in a blinding flash, followed three days later by Nagasaki. The world had entered the atomic age, and the repercussions of these events would resonate generations. But within this larger narrative lies the personal story of a man caught between both blasts. In the midst of global events, individual stories often get overshadowed, yet some tales are so extraordinary that they demand to be told. Tsutomu Yamaguchi, a resident of Nagasaki, found himself in Hiroshima on a fateful August morning. A naval engineer by profession, he was on a three-month-long business trip for Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. A loving husband and father, Yamaguchi's life was much like any others. Little did he know that his trip to Hiroshima would place him at the epicenter of one of history's most devastating events. And as he bore witness to the unimaginable destruction in Hiroshima, destiny had yet another twist in store for him upon his return home. But to truly understand Yamaguchi's journey, we must first delve into his harrowing experience in Hiroshima, August 6th, 1945. Hiroshima awakens to what seems like another ordinary day. But for Tsutomu Yamaguchi, it was the last day of his business trip, and he was preparing to head back to Nagasaki. As he walked towards the shipyard, a sudden flash, brighter than the sun, illuminated the sky. The atomic bomb, codenamed Little Boy, had detonated approximately 600 meters above the city. The blast wave, carrying with it intense heat and radiation, swept through Hiroshima, leveling buildings and instantly claiming tens of thousands of lives. Yamaguchi, who was just three kilometers from the hypercenter, was thrown to the ground. His eardrums ruptured and the left side of his body severely burned. In a daze, amidst the chaos and the fires that raged, he sought shelter and medical Aid. The city he had known just moments ago was now unrecognizable. Determined to return to his family, Yamaguchi, with bandaged wounds and amidst the backdrop of a city in ruins, began his journey back to Nagasaki, unaware that fate had another trial awaiting him. Bruised, burned, and traumatized, Tsutomu Yamaguchi boarded a train, driven by the singular desire to reunite with his family in Nagasaki. Upon reaching Nagasaki, Yamaguchi's return was a bittersweet reunion. While he found solace in the embrace of his loved ones, the haunting memories of Hiroshima weighed heavily on him. But as he recounted the horrors of Hiroshima to disbelieving colleagues and family, the unthinkable happened. August 9, 1945. Just three days after Hiroshima, as Yamaguchi was narrating his ordeal at his office, another blinding flash lit up the sky. The atomic bomb, codenamed Fat Man, had been dropped on Nagasaki. Once again, Yamaguchi found himself at the epicenter of an atomic catastrophe. Miraculously, Yamaguchi survived the second blast, though the trauma and radiation exposure would leave lasting scars. The city of Nagasaki, much like Hiroshima, was transformed into a landscape of desolation and sorrow. Against all odds, Yamaguchi had faced the full fury of two atomic bombs and emerged alive, becoming a living testament to both human resilience and the devastating power of nuclear weapons. In the wake of the twin atomic tragedies, Japan began its arduous journey of healing and reconstruction. Amidst this backdrop, Tsutomu Yamaguchi embarked on his own path of recovery. While the physical wounds began to heal, the emotional and psychological scars ran deep. The trauma of experiencing both bombings, the loss of friends, and the haunting memories of the devastation weighed heavily on Yamaguchi. Like many survivors, 
or Hibakusha, Yamaguchi faced health challenges due to radiation exposure. Yet he persevered, driven by a sense of purpose and responsibility. As the years passed, Yamaguchi became an outspoken advocate for nuclear disarmament. He shared his harrowing tale with the world, not as a story of despair, but as a cautionary tale and a plea for peace. His testimony at the United Nations, his interviews, and his writings all echoed a singular message. The horrors of nuclear warfare must never be repeated. In a life marked by unimaginable trials, Yamaguchi's legacy became one of hope, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to a world free from nuclear weapons. As the decades passed, Tsutomu Yamaguchi's story transcended borders, becoming a beacon of hope and a stark reminder of the human cost of war. His relentless efforts in advocating for a nuclear-free world garnered international attention. From classrooms to global platforms, his tale was shared, studied, and revered. In 2009, a significant acknowledgement came. The Japanese government officially recognized Yamaguchi as the only person to have been confirmed to survive both atomic bombings. This recognition was not just a testament to his survival, but a nod to his enduring message of peace. Yamaguchi's legacy is intertwined with the collective memory of all Hibakusha, the survivors of the atomic bombings. Their stories, their resilience, and their plea for peace continue to resonate, urging the world to remember and to act. Though Tsutomu Yamaguchi passed away in 2010, his legacy lives on. A legacy that challenges us to confront the horrors of the past and to strive for a future where humanity never again witnesses the devastation of nuclear warfare. From the ashes of devastation, Hiroshima and Nagasaki have risen, transformed into cities of resilience. Their journey, much like Tsutomu Yamaguchi's, is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Yamaguchi's story, while unique in its circumstances, carries a universal message. It reminds us of the fragility of life, the consequences of our choices, and the shared responsibility we hold in shaping future. In his own words, I can't understand why the world cannot understand the agony of the nuclear bombs. How can they keep developing these weapons? As we remember Yamaguchi and the countless souls affected by the atomic bombings, let us ask ourselves, what kind of world do we want to leave for future generations? And what steps are we willing to take to ensure a world free from the shadows of nuclear warfare?